I would really encourage folks, particularly those who might feel like they've kind of given up on politics, to get excited about what's going on in Virginia in 2019, because now is the time that you can make some really big change. Sally Hudson is an assistant professor in the Batten School, as well as a candidate for the 57th District in the Virginia House of Delegates. WUVA spoke with Hudson earlier in April towards the beginning of her candidacy, and we followed up with her to discuss her main priorities and what policies she plans to implement while in Richmond. What are some of your legislative priorities once you start working in Richmond? Well, I think the top priority for me is working on election reform. I think so many of the other things that we want to work on, whether that is stronger schools or cleaner air, has been sitting on the back burner in Virginia for so long because we don't have elections that are responsive to the people. There are deeper structural flaws in our democracy, like gerrymandering, where politicians get to pick their voters, not the other way around, um, which means that a lot of our elections are um, not super competitive, they're really low turnout. Just last month, in the Virginia House of Delegates versus Bethune Hill court case, the Supreme Court ruled that 11 districts in Virginia were illegally racially gerrymandered in the Republican Party's favor. So I think that it's good that we that the, the courts recognize that our maps here in Virginia were racially gerrymandered. Um, I think that you know both the, the data and all of the, the testimony have played that out. Um, and so I think it's good the Democrats are going to get a chance to play on a much fairer field. 2021 is when we'll draw the next round of maps. Um, and so I think it's very important that between now and then we send legislators to Richmond who are invested in passing the kind of redistricting reform that we need to take that process out of the hands of our legislature and put it in an independent body where folks who um, aren't as politically invested in the outcome can draw fair maps for everybody. Hudson also discussed the sexual assault allegations against Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, an issue she feels Democrats must play a pivotal role in addressing. I've been really disappointed, earnestly, by the Democratic Party. I think that we have a sitting elected leader in our party who's facing really credible allegations um, of rape. And we have to own that. Um, and I think that we set another bad example for how seriously we take survivors, that we're not supporting them in that work. And so, um, you know, I would like to see uh, Democrats play a more active role in ensuring that those allegations get the fair hearing that they deserve. I think that both parties politicize sexual assault, and the only way that stops is by one of them standing up and showing people how it's done, how you really handle credible allegations like this. And I don't have a lot of faith that Republicans are going to do that first, so I think it's high time that Democrats lead by example. We asked Hudson about her opinions on the recent calls for the legalization of marijuana in Virginia. Well, I think it's really important when we talk about marijuana that we distinguish between legalization and decriminalization. A lot of what we've seen some states do is decriminalize the use of pot, which means that you can't be locked up, but you can be fined. Decriminalizing uh, an act is basically like saying it's not wrong as long as you're rich because if you can afford to pay the fine for being caught with marijuana, then you know a, what is to you a small fine or fee isn't such a big deal. It basically moves us from putting people behind bars to criminalizing poverty. It will require action on the part of Richmond and ultimately DC to change the way that our country um, views the, the war on drugs and you know moving more toward a system where we're trying to um, treat addiction as an illness. We're trying to support people getting back on their feet and finding um, you know another strong way to live their life. We also spoke to Professor Hudson about the controversial TRAN bill, which reduces the requirements for physicians' consent for a third trimester abortion. I think it's important to note that third trimester abortions almost never happen. And when they do happen, they're a medical emergency. Um, they're a mother having to make one of the most uh, horrific decisions you could possibly imagine, and it's a deeply per personal decision between her and her doctor. Um, so I think it's very important that we have that um, conversation in that context, and ultimately I think those are medical decisions that should happen between patients and providers. With the increase of political division caused by the Trump administration, Hudson gave her input on how this division has impacted Democrats and the importance of state elections. 
Um, I think that if anything good has come out of Donald Trump's election, it's that it stirred a lot of people from their sleep. It's activated a lot of folks who weren't as politically active before. This is a really important election for Virginia. Though Charlottesville seat may be mostly decided, every single seat in our House and Senate will be on the ballot this fall. Um, the balance of power is poised to flip in Virginia. So if there has ever been a time to get excited about state government, now is it. <laughs>